focus is a high commodity. It's easy to lose yourself in today's world. It's easy to forget yourself. I won't even say lose yourself. I don't think it's possible to lose yourself because you will always be you, but it is possible to forget yourself. You could be experiencing this life, you know, and you can forget who you are, right? You can forget your power. You can forget your presence and your energy and your potential and your destiny. And that's dangerous, right? So you always want to remember who you are, right? And it's a reason why there's certain things they put a re on right because you are a member of yourself i want you to remember that right so you have to remember yourself right and you have organs and your organs have organization they have to flow in a structure and proper order in order for you to be at your highest level of intelligence in life and so when it comes to remembering yourself, you are just organizing things into a proper place, order and function, right? I want you to understand that that's key to understanding how to position yourself to your highest level, right? You have to remember yourself so that you become a member, right? Of what? What are you becoming a member of is the key. We are born into this world but even at the early stages of adolescence and infancy there are things for us to remember <laughs> you dig so we are all a collection of human existence you feel me and remembering ourselves is key but you know there are supermind collectives and there's supermind individuals right it can be a group of individuals acting together in ways for super intelligence, meaning that you have access to knowledge, information, skills, uh, ideas that you normally could not formulate on your own, right? Or when we're talking about the super mind, we're talking about beyond the conscious mind, right? And a state of transcendental flow that allows you to be in consistent high level activity, right? I want you to think about this. And it has a lot to do with, you know, training your brain waves and the neural feedback that you get from yourself. But there's something that we're going to act off of that's an integral part in the way that we're going to focus on building up this community and the members of it and you that's on the other end. You understand me? Because your super mind is something that everybody gets to tap into, but not everybody knows how to. And the how-to is the step-by-steps in the ways that we're going to develop. And all you have to do is follow along and execute, right? So one concept of the supermind really comes from ancient times, right? And then there's some new age times that talk about the supermind and supermind that allows you to boost performance, increase focus, right? And in all areas, whether it's in business specifically to increase profits, because when you increase the person, you increase the profits because businesses and organizations are made of of people and persons. So if it's natural that if you have the most creative people, you creating the most creative things. If you have the smartest people, you're creating the smartest things, right? If you have super people, you're creating super things. You have a super organization. So. You know, I've gotten to a point in my life where my family has come to look at me as the one in the family that everybody can now help collaborate and build with in order to get themselves to, you know, a better standard of living because I've allowed myself to get there. And I want you to peep my word in the language. I've allowed myself because everything in society is an allowance, Everything in the world is allowance. And once you get to the place of understanding that any level you want to reach is just what you allow yourself to do or what you don't allow yourself to do because the possibility exists within the equipment known as your mind. Right? It's like if you have a gun, you shoot somebody because you allowed yourself to shoot somebody. The capability of the gun had all the power, force, and might, but in your possession, this entire time, you can choose not to or you can choose to allow yourself to. Your mind is that powerful weapon. You can choose to use it in any capacity, but even if you don't use it, 
the potential of this equipment is the same. So getting there, right? A mind or something like a mind that is much more powerful than the mind of a typical person, right? What if you could pop a pill to make yourself remember more, think faster, or become happier or high achieving? Most people would love the idea of the simplicity of simply taking a pill and just becoming smarter. But the idea of just taking a limitless pill and popping it, and all of a sudden, you have the ability to have access to more of what your own mind. But how do you create that natural function? Because we know that there are high achievers, but everybody ain't popping no limitless pill. And even if the pill exists, it's still based upon who you are, right? And soup and, and, and enhancing who you already are. 